we are back and it's another vlogging Monday here on my channel. I'm going to be straight up with y'all. There was a moment yesterday. Today's Saturday, but this goes up on Monday. There was a day yesterday or a time yesterday where I was just like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to pull it together to get a video up uh, today and or this whole week. But the truth of the matter is I always feel better when I do and when I share with you guys and express with y'all. So uh, here we are. I'm excited to spend uh, the day with y'all and um, sort of just let you know how I'm feeling because I'm feeling like you guys are probably feeling what I'm feeling. You feel me? Uh, and yeah, see where... See where today takes us. Um, right now, actually, I'm gonna take you guys into my bathroom because I need to pull myself together a little bit. I am headed out for a very early dinner. Let's see, what time is it right now? It's 3.15. Um, heading out to a very early dinner with my girlfriends. This is why I love my group of girlfriends. Everyone's like, early bird special, 5 p.m., maybe 4.30, at this like very old person place, great meet you there um so doing that i'm just gonna do like a very very light makeup routine because it is so hot here in la i mean it is brutal i feel bad because the dog can't even really go for a walk huh Courtney? i'm sorry baby it's just too hot for your sweet little paws <laughs> you guys know i'm obsessed with these big jugs i'll try to put one down in the link below so you can check it out i got them on amazon but i bought my mom one and she never used it so i took it back from her so now i have two of these ridiculous things and jeff is like lisa there's literally like no room in the cabinet for another one like this takes up a whole cabinet but i don't care it's not negotiable i love these stupid things um it keeps me accountable for my water drinking gotta stay hydrated i'm also having this weird breakout i actually don't think it's an actual breakout it feels like more of a hive situation i've been putting neosporin on it and that seems to help but kind of weird anyhow hello let's do this this is suddenly a get ready with me um i'll show you my updated sort of no makeup makeup routine which starts with this wowder which is from glossier it's really a setting powder but i like to put it on over my eyelids just to sort of give it a base and also my eyelids are like not only are my eyelids a little bit watery but they're kind of like dark or like i don't know like they need a little like brightening so always this Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows I just did. I just like recorded this whole rant and I stopped myself because I don't know. Uh, social media is so hard to navigate and like, uh, I just wanna say like, I haven't been posting on Instagram because I haven't been spending a lot of time on Instagram because yesterday was Friday and that's when the Supreme Court did the ruling and I felt personally very overwhelmed and very emotional and I needed to just like take space to like talk it out with my husband and my family and my friends and like um, have those like in life or like um, in person conversations and interactions and so for me like immediately going on Instagram and posting stuff just like it just wasn't where it was at for me personally. Um, I know a lot of people expect influencers to supposed to be able to or like expect influencers to do that kind of stuff and I think different influencers are there for different reasons and I think my reason uh, ultimately as I continue to try to craft it and figure it out is to provide a place of um, levity, lightness, a moment of, of, of um, happiness and joy even through tough times and so um, I just needed to take a space from that and I felt like I just needed to like get myself grounded before posting, uh, thoughts. And also like, I feel like I am, I don't want to inform people. Okay. So this will take me to, this is actually kind of interesting. So I just like don't want to tell people what to think. I think it's very obvious uh, where I stand on many things, but I'm not here to try to push that on you. The only thing I'm here to push on you is um, inclusivity, which I never say right, um, love, acceptance. Um, I'm trying to provide a place of peace. Um, that's like my little pocket um, and self-care 
and mental health. Um, so I feel like very passionate about that and I want to provide a place for you guys to just come and sort of like detach for a moment in a healthy way. So there's that. Um, but this then leads me into, so yesterday was a tough day, obviously, and we also had some personal stuff, um, that we had to, like, also conquer. It was just, like, a lot. It was a lot. Last week was a lot, and I think it was a lot for everyone. That's being said, so, so I started, um, well, I should fill this in while we're going. I started, um, watching this documentary on Freeform. I might be a little bit late to this game, um, called In the Deep End. Yeah, in the deep end, um, right? And I'm so bad at remembering names of things, like titles, but also like personal names. Anyways, it's about this like influencer who was in the like, who's in like the mental health space. She's like, um, she's like trying to be like a Tony Robbins kind of thing. Um, and it's a documentary that follows her and her teachings and the people that follow her and her inner circle. And then ultimately it's examining whether or not this is a cult. It is bonkers. It is bonkers. And it was also another reminder and affirmation for me personally of like, yeah, I'm not going to like try to tell people what to think or do. I'm just here to bring a little joy into your life and that's my boundary and I'm setting that boundary for myself because this jig is telling people what to do and a lot of times it's not ending well. Anyways, go watch that. I think it's like so insane and so nuts. <laughs> and I like told my mom, my mom's under the weather. So I was just like trying to tell her what to watch and keep her occupied. And she, um, I told her to watch it and like halfway through the first episode, she texts me. She's like, oh my God, the actors in this are so good. I'm like, mom, they're not, they're not actors. That's real. And she's like, what the fuck? Like, oh my God, you guys have to see it. It's really quite nuts. This is kind of all I want to do for makeup, but I think I'll do a little bit more. So anyways, I don't know if I'm making sense, but I just like, I'm sort of grappling with my um, relationship with social media. I mean, specifically Instagram, because I'm not on Twitter or Facebook. Um, you guys, I'm here with you guys, but I feel like we have this thing going on and you guys get me and I get you and like, I really like what we, we got a good thing going on. It's just on Instagram which I love Instagram, but I, um, you know, I just feel myself pulling back a little bit because it's just like too much, man. So many voices and, uh, I don't know. I feel like hi hibernating. I feel like I'm in this, um, uh, I got through phases. I had to push myself to go tonight. Like, and these are my best friends. Like these are like my comfort zone. Um, but I almost had to like push myself to go. I'm just like in this like hibernation state right now where maybe everything around me is so like intense. You guys, it's around all of this is so intense that like my personality type, I feel like I need to like hibernate. Otherwise I take in too many people's um, energies. It's just very porous to energy. So personally, I'm learning how to protect myself and not take on everyone's energy, which is literally what Instagram is. So one day at a time, that's where I'm at. One day at a time. This is the oldest dress ever. I think I got this at H&M like years and years ago. And I was wearing it as a cover up, but again, it's so hot here in LA that I feel like I can get away with just wearing this t-shirt dress out. I'll leave the link to everything I'm using today down below if you're interested per use. You're supposed to go to Disneyland tomorrow, but because my mom's sick, uh, we have nowhere to keep the dog. So Jeff and I are pretty bummed about that. We kind of wanted to just do like an escape to Disneyland, just the two of us, which would be so fun. And like, I was gonna do a whole video about trying to figure out what to wear. We'll get there eventually. It's also so hot, so maybe it's better that we're not going, but sometimes you just need to like check out a little bit, like I'm saying, and I feel like Disneyland would have been a good place to do it. The last few times we've gone, it's been with kids, um, which is like the actual best. I love watching kids do Disneyland, uh, but we kind of thought it would be fun if we went and went to the Tiki Bar and 
just, you know, had a grand old time. All right, to do eyeshadow or not, that is the question. Y'all, I have been like always on the hunt for new eyeshadow. I think the last time I got one, I showed you guys this. It's the Tarte's Baby Bloom one, but nothing compares to my Bare Minerals. And I guess I need to order online, but the color I like, I can't seem to find. Just can't find anything as good as it. I still have a little bit of this one left. This is the Citrus Twist. It's just, it comes out so great and it goes on so delightful. Show you. But the thing is, I don't always like to use this red color. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pink. The light's still not working properly. Um, I feel like in the summer when my skin's like super pink, I don't really like to use this because it kind of makes my skin look even pinker. But well, last week I was talking about Poshmark and starting my Poshmark. For those of you who are on there and like listing, I keep trying to list. Like I took all these great photos. I have all this great new stuff that I want to list. I keep trying to list and every time I fill out the whole thing out and then I press like, you know, list this listing or whatever and it tells me that I have an error. I tried a different browser, I restarted my computer, the whole shebang. It's been doing that for like the last three days. So I started to Google it and it feels like they're like, ugh. This is when I just have to pause from doing my makeup. So like all the things I read was like I'm being flagged or shadowed or something. I don't know why. <laughs> like I literally just started using the service. I sold one thing, I got a five-star review. Like I, I'm not like posting that much, so I can't quite figure it out. I've written to them to like contact support, um, but you know, I mean, it's like a huge company. And so until I have like a direct contact there, like there's nothing I can do, but if you have any suggestions, certainly let me know. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. One light came on. If anyone has suggestions, I don't know if I put like the wrong light bulbs in. I just don't know. It's like three different um, light sources and like they never all work at the same time. Anyways, I really, really regret putting eyeliner on because my allergies are bad and my eyes are running, but here we go. Anyone up for like a cooking video? And if so, like what kind of stuff do you want to see me attempt? You guys know I like to like make obviously like um, vegetarian kind of stuff, but I'm also like feeling like I want to do some dupes of um, breakfast foods, like cinnamon rolls, like gluten-free. I don't know, I'm kind of craving pancakes. We watch those videos on Instagram of like the healthy versions of, um, and they always look so good, but I feel like it, they make it seem so much easier than it actually is. Last night, um, it was just like such a long day and I was so tired and like, I just like was th literally through a tantrum um, while making dinner because I was like, I'm a war chef. Ever, and I don't want anything and nothing sounds good. I was there last night. You want to feel that feel? <laughs> Jeff was so sweet. He was like, do you want me to make you something? I was like, no, you don't have to, but make me something. Uh, that guy takes such good care of me, man. I feel very, very lucky to be married to this man. Ah, but you know who feels luckier? Corny, she's obsessed with him, it's so cute. Smart little buddy. I mean, this light is not great, but I'm kind of feeling this. I think that'll do. Just need some lip goop, and then we're good to go. So I'm getting a haircut next week, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna chop. I obviously will bring you guys with me, but I'm thinking, let me know. I'm kind of just like, I might regret it, but I mean, hair grows. Um, I'm just seeing people with like short hair, maybe not that short, like maybe this length. I don't know, just kind of like, and then in the need for a little bit of change, I'm digging my hair color. I'm actually for once want to keep my hair color, but I'm kind of feeling like it's summertime. Let's chop this lady off and start again, you know? I really appreciate you guys. Side note. Everyday note. All the time note. Just note that. Costume change. I'm going for like vacation chic. Old ladies who eat at 4.30 kind of look. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is um, a worry stone. I think they're called worry stones. Me 
maybe they have a more positive name, <laughs> but I really enjoy these. Um, it, remember when like fidget spinners were a thing? Do you remember fidget spinners? That feels like a lifetime ago. How long ago was that? But that was like such like, it was like it hit the scene and it hit it hard. Anyhow, I feel like this is my woo woo hippie adult version of that. This is an amethyst. Amethyst is supposed to be good for like um, protection. I feel like it's like a balancing kind of friend crystal. And if you can see, obviously it's round, but here it's got like a divot that's like perfect for your thumb. So it allows you to just sort of like, I don't know, people use it for meditation, for worrying, for just like if you have a fidgety mind. So sometimes when I'm sitting here at my computer and if I'm on a Zoom call that I'm nervous about or or just like literally anything, um, I'll sit and I kind of just keep this as something to calm me, move my fingers and literally fidget spin. Uh, but I like these a lot. I was gifted this one. They come in all sorts of different stones though according to like the energy that you're supposed to like or that you're wanting to bring in uh, to your life. So I thought these were pretty cool. I will try to find the link uh, for these if you wanted to, to get something comparable to this. While I'm at it, I might as well show you some of my other crystals. This is dope. Uh, I don't know if I've showed this before, but this is a magnet. This is supposed to obviously like clear, um, present healing vibes, all, all the cool things, but it was just one of those things that I picked this up and I was like, I need this. Very cool. I don't remember the official name of this, but this particular stone, it was called like something lady and it represented laughter and fun and I got this when I was out with Jessica my friend uh, we got like matching ones because we had just had this like glorious day that reminded me of like how important it is to be out in nature not only like that but to do that with a friend and sort of take time away from everything to just like be present with one another, get the blood flowing by walking and moving. We went for a hike and we just had like the best time ever and then we went to a crystal shop and we got these. I thought they were really cool. Howlite, I really like Howlite. I usually actually wear Howlite. I have a Howlite um, bracelet. I love the look of it first and foremost. It's just cool. Um, but this is really good for anxiety. Um, I don't remember what else. I can look up the properties of them, but um, I just know that I always kind of tend to go to highlight when I need protection and like calming. Most of these are for like that. I feel like some of you have been asking for a crystal and rock tour. I will do that. The problem I have is that when I'm at the store, I get them and I'm like, yes, this is this is a great property. I need this, I want this. And then like, I forget what they are, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm okay with that, I kind of feel like they still are giving me the energy even if I can't like properly identify exactly which one they are. But I know that this is the amethyst and I have really been holding tight to this one recently. So just a little show and tell. Right, for some reason I'm feeling anxious. Not about like seeing my friends, that I feel great about. I think it's cause, um, I think it's because some of the people in our group want to sit outside. Uh, they're just more comfortable outside, but it's so hot outside. So I always feel like I'm going to like pass out or something so stupid. Anxiety. Anxiety. Welcome. Thanks for being here. So appreciate you. Anyways, y'all, today has been kind of like a spew of feelings and sort of like trying to sort through it all and figure it all out. But again, I just wanted to remind you, regardless of how you're feeling right now, you are seen, you are supported, uh, and you are not alone. I feel like the majority of us are feeling a lot of feelings. So, I don't know. Just wanted to pop in and make sure that every day I make you feel appreciated and uh, part of something. But not a cult. Not part of a cult. This is not a cult. I repeat, this is not a cult. Just finished dinner, it was awesome. Ended up having the best time as I knew I would. And it's just a reminder that it's sometimes good to push yourself, um, to stop overthinking, and just to enjoy the people and your surroundings that you have in your life. Um, 
and to kind of like just step out of your comfort zone. I'm so comfortable being at home and with my routine. I feel like it's easy in high anxiety times to sort of click into that and find excuses to not um, live beyond that. Sorry, I'm looking at the road, so I'm not looking directly at you, but I'm certainly thinking and speaking to you. But pushing yourself to go out, put on your old lady vacation pants, and enjoy the people in your life is so important. So thank you guys for hanging with me for a bit today. I appreciate you greatly. I will be around for the rest of the week. Not exactly sure what I have planned for the week, but we'll figure it out. And if there's anything specific that you are kind of itching for, let me know. Thinking of heading over to Old Navy. I also have a reformation in-store try-on in the works because I'm super fascinated by that brand and they're actually opening one out here near me. Lots of things on the horizon, but there's anything specific that you are like kind of edging for, certainly let me know, including more vlogs. You guys are great and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.